Pisak is really famous for this particular market. Sunday is definitely the star of this market. Loving it, loving it. Come to Pisak, it's amazing. Good morning from Cusco. It's 8.30 and it is such a beautiful day. Our plan today is to go to the town of Pisac, which is about 40 minute drive from central Cusco. And we're gonna go to one of these famous things to do in Pisac, which is the Pisac market. And there's gonna be a lot of fun, a lot of activities at the market. And we're gonna start right now. So we are currently in what's called a Colectivo. And as you can tell, they're really, really uh, enthusiastic about getting people to join their bus. So it is five soles, which is about a little over a buck fifty each, to drive 40, 45 minutes to Pisac. But the only thing is they don't operate on a schedule, they operate when they're full. It seems like they kind of fits about 15 people. Mm -hmm. So it could be you hop on and then just leave right away, or it could be about an hour maybe. Yeah, but I think we'll be okay. I think this, it's Sunday, a lot of people are going yeah. to the market today, so I don't think we'll have any problem filling this bus up. Good news and bad news. Good news is that we survived the crazy ride here to Pisac and now we are in Pisac officially. Bad news is that I just found out that my water bottle is completely open inside my bag. I get empty water bottle and wet bag. Not ideal to start the day in Pisac but it is what it is. And now all we need to do is make our way to the artisan market, which we believe is just up here, according to Google Maps. And we actually descended about 2,000 feet, and as a result, we felt like a bit hotter. You can breathe a lot better down here. It's about quarter past 10 in the morning here in the Peasock Market. I feel like we're a little bit early, but we wanted to come in early anyway because we wanted to make sure that we got in ahead of all the tourists. If you can see behind me, there's a road right up here. Just a few minutes ago, we saw like a caravan of white vans coming in. You know that that's the buses that carry all the tourists. Halif and I are gonna go for a coffee right now but I expect that within a few minutes this place is going to be bombarded with more tourists. This is going to be our spot overlooking the market. Some background information, Pisac is really famous for this particular market. What it used to be maybe three times a week of market, now it becomes every day. But Sunday is definitely the star of this market. Anywhere you go here in Plaza de Armas, you can see all the street vendors, mostly are artisan vendors, and selling anything from the handicraft for sweaters, hats, purses, and anything you can find. And it's just so colorful, and everything you wanna get like alpaca sweater, this is probably the place for you. So these are the pigments to dye anything from painting to all the clothing that they sell here. This is how you make different vivid colors. It's really, really pretty. And you can get one of these things, just like a different colors. Favorite thing of this market is this little hat on this alpaca. Baby, baby alpaca. Oh my god, it's so cute. It's I asked that no. It's so baby. So cute. Another cool thing in Pisac is one of these ovens. So the whole city, there were a few ovens, basically what locals used to cook empanadas, kui, which is the guinea pig or whatever. But this particular one is the Orno San Francisco, which is the oldest one from the early 1800s. <laughs> Yeah. 
cuánto tiempo va a cocinar. I'm going to get a tomato and cheese empanada. Cuatro soles. Let's see how this tastes. It's queso pollo. Es queso tomate cebolla. No es pollo. No es pollo. Oh. It's just different looking tomatoes than I'm used to. Okay, he's right, yeah. It just looks dark like meat, but it's actually the skin of the tomato, so. One of the craziest things that I find about coming here is that we've been in Peru now for what, two or three weeks? And everybody comes up to you with a baby alpaca or a baby llama as though it's the first time you've ever seen one and they want you to pet it and they want you to give them a tip. And I'm like, yeah, so it's a llama, it's an alpaca. Oh, sorry. And I just hit a lady. So I got my second wristband, and this symbolizes the mountains. I try to buy things that are small that I don't have to pack in my suitcase because we've already got way too much. But I like these little armbands. They're handmade, so it's even nicer. You can find one of any color. Thank you very much. You're yeah, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. You too. Have a nice day. This is the header snake. This is part of the uh, massive drainage system here in Pisac. All the way down. Here, highest point in Pisac coming up next. All right, we're going to the tunnel. Ooh, that is tight. It's a bit of a challenging walk down, but no one can say it's boring. Be a little careless. He's going down the side of a mountain. We are about to be overrun by school children. Oh, that looks creepy to me. Don't. Tomato and queso, quesadilla. Your you said quesadilla. <laughs> quesadilla, empanada, empanada, sorry, empanada. Another cool thing to do in uh, uh, Cusco, no. Another cool thing in Pisac. I'm sorry ladies, your alpacas are no longer novelties. 